So example here, a tank is in the form of an inverted cone having an altitude of 16 meters and a radius of 4 meters. Water is flowing into the tank at the rate of 2 cubic meters per minute. How fast is the water level rising when the water is 5 meters deep? So, we have here our figure. So, if you are going to look at here, this is a form of inverted cone, wherein the radius of the cone is 4 meters and the height of the cone is 16 meters. The red color here that that represents the volume of water inside the cone wherein the radius of the water inside the cone at any time is x and its corresponding height at any time is y so water is getting inside the container at a rate of 2 cubic meter per minute. So if the unit is in cubic, that signifies that that is the rate of the volume per unit time. So what is being asked in this problem? It is being asked, how fast is the water level rising? So it is asked, what is the rate of change of y with respect to time? when y is equal to 5 meters because as you can see here in your container if the water is is of small amount for example that is 1 meter that is more faster to go up compared to 10 meters so we are going to determine how fast when y is equal to 5 meters. So it's, it is shown here in our figure. So this is now the water inside the container. At any time, it has a radius of x and a height of y. So solution here, we are going to use the formula of the volume of the water inside the cone so what is the volume of water inside the cone of course the water will follow the form of its container and its container is in conical form the volume of a conical form that is equivalent to one-third pi r squared times height volume that is area of the base times height and that is a cone so you will have one third. So we will continue. So to solve this one, because to solve this one, all we have to do, because we are going to solve for the rate of change of y with respect to time, and yet in our given, so volume here that is equal to one third pi r squared times height. This volume of water inside the cone. So, in our example, our radius is expressed in x, our height is expressed in y. So, we are going to change that one, one-third pi x squared times y. Okay. So, therefore, if you are going to look at this one, x here, that is changing. Because whenever there is an increase of the volume of water inside the cone, of course, there is a change of the value of x that will increase. So do it, when there is an increase of the volume of water inside the cone, there is also an increase of the value of y. So therefore, volume here will increase, radius of course will increase, so do with the height of the water. So we have three variables, volume, radius, and height. So we must express our radius in terms of height. Why? Okay. Why we are going to express our radius in terms of height? Because what is being asked here? It is being asked 
how fast. So we are going to find the rate of change of y with respect to time. So we will we will choose y to remain in the equation and change x in terms of y because we're solving for dy dt. Okay, so we are going to express express x in terms of y so how to express that one how to express x in terms of y so to express x in terms of y we are going to use similar triangles so to use similar triangles, we are going to cut this cone and to do with the form of water, cut that into half. So we have here, by similar triangles, we have 4 meters radius of the cone. 16 meters height of the cone and then the radius of the water inside the cone is x and the height of water inside the cone at any time that is y by similar triangles we will have x over y is equal to 4 over 16 so that is divisible by 4. So x over y is equal to 1 fourth. If we are going to express x in terms of y, you will have y over 4. So then after that one, finding for the value of x in terms of y. So let's go back to our equation. Volume is equal to one third pi x square times y. So that is the volume of water inside the cone. S substitute, okay, sub, okay, substitute x is equal to y over 4. So therefore, you will have volume is equal to one third. Okay. So equal to one third pi x is equal equal to y over four this time. So therefore, so therefore you will have y over four that is square times y so volume therefore is equal to one third pi y cube over four or you will have volume is equal to pi y cube over 12 okay But this is not 12, this is 16. Sorry, this is 16. So this is 48. This is now 48. So we will change this one. So you will have pi y cube over 48. Okay, as you can see here, we have now only one variable here, and this one is your second variable. So, we will find the derivative. So, you will have volume is equal to pi y cube over 48. Then find the derivative with respect to time. So you will have db dt is equal to 
pi over 48 d dt of y cube. So therefore, derivative of y cube, we will have 3 pi y square, okay? Derivative of y without exponent, dy dt over 48. So therefore, you will have 16. So you will have 3. Oh, sorry. So you can cancel that one. You will have pi y squared dy dt over 16 because 48 divisible by 3 that is 16 3 divided by 3 divided by 3 that is 1 48 divided by 3 that is 16 so that is now your db dt since we are going to solve for dy dt so dy dt is equal to okay dy dt that is equal to db dt all over pi y squared over 16. So, dy dt, dv dt, dv dt is equal to 2, okay, over pi okay we are going to find when y is equal to 5 meters okay we will declare that one when y is equal to 5 meters so you will have 5 pi square Okay, so you will have 16, so our answer, dy dt is equal to 32 divided by 25 pi. So, unit here, because this is the rate of change of y with respect to time, so our unit will be in meters per uh, minute so this is now our final answer so as you can see here by similar triangles, you will have x over y, 4 over 16, okay, divisible by 4, so 1 over 4, 16 divided by 4, that is 4. Cross multiplication, y times 1, so you will have x is equal to y over 4. So therefore, x is equal to y over 4. Volume from our formula of water inside the conical container that is equal to one third pi x squared times y substitute the value of x wherein that is equal to y over four so therefore you will have volume is equal to one third pi y over four squared times y so therefore y squared times y, y cubed, 4 squared that is 16, that's the reason you will have 16. So 16 times 3, that is 48, so pi y cubed over 48, that is now the formula of volume. After finding for the formula of volume, so find the derivative for volume for v and pi y cubed over 48. 
सो डी वी डी टी इज इक्वल टू पाई ओवर फोर्टी एट डेरिवेटिव ऑफ वाई क्यूब डी डी टी सो डेरिवेटिव ऑफ वाई क्यूब दैट इज थ्री वाई स्क्वेड सो थ्री पाई वाई स्क्वेड डेरिवेटिव ऑफ वाई विदाउट एक्सपोनेंट सो दैट्स द रीजन यू विल हैव डी वाई डी टी सो देर फोर फोर्टी एट दैट इज डिविजिबल बाय थ्री थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री दैट इज वन फोर्टी एट डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री दैट इज सिक्सटीन दैट्स द रीजन वी हैव पाई वाई स्क्वेड डी वाई डी टी Since we are solving for dy dt, so dy dt is equal to dv dt divided by pi y squared over 16. Cross multiply. When y is equal to 5 meters, so you will have dy over dt is equal to 2 times, okay, by reciprocal, 2 times 16 over pi y is equal to okay y is equal to 5 so that's the reason it is given dvdt is equal to 2 cubic meters per minute that's the reason we have 2 here so 16 times 2 that is 32 over 25 pi meters per minute so if you wonder so this is our final answer if you wonder why why this becomes uh, 16 as your numerator? Okay, if you could remember in our multiplication of reciprocal. So note here, note here, A over B divided by C over D. That is equivalent to A over B times D over C. That's the reason we take the reciprocal of 16 dvd t times 16 over pi y square. Okay, this one. So, from, okay, dv d t times 16 over, okay, dvdd times 16 over pi y square okay so that's it so that is now your final answer so that indicates that the water level is rising at a rate of 32 over 25 pi meters per minute when the water is 5 meters deep. So, that's it.